The Atari Creep YouTube channel is intended for a mature audience. Regardless of the subject matter, this video may contain strong language, simulated violence, and psychological nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. I suppose once in a while we just gotta, we gotta do what we, hey the horn fucking blows, what about your mother? What's up, Creepers and Geekers, Chris the Atari Creep, how is everyone doing today? Let's have a look at another one of these Tommy Pocket games, but before we do, I want to apologize for the, the uppy-downy format here. As you can see, this thing's more long than it is wide, and I kept, you know, just we're just going to have to fucking deal with it. I'll try to make it as less obnoxious as possible. I personally hate this this way. If I hate it when people do that and they make a whole video like this. It just drives me nuts. So the Tommy game we're going to be playing today is Magnetagate. See, it says it right there. Um, and as you can see, it's kind of a it's a kind of a spaceship shooter style thing. We'll get into that. I believe this one came from '79, made in Japan. Yep, 1979. Uh, if you care to read the rules, here we go. I'll get a nice focus on that. You can pause. But I don't need no stinking rules. Uh, one of the cool things about this game, uh, before we get into how to play it, I mean, maybe I'm doing this backwards, but you no, know, whatever. Uh, so they thought enough to give you a ball release here because it's kind of tough to get at least the last ball or the first one, depending on how you want to look at it, uh, off of this. So they gave you this nifty little thing to press in so when you're resetting the game, no balls get up there and keep getting stuck because that would probably be a lot more frustrating than trying to win the game anyway. So how do you play the game? It's pretty pretty simple. you got a bunch of uh, steel ball bearings down here, a little springy medingy hero, and um, up here is a thing with a magnet inside. And the idea is to shoot the ball up and get one stuck there. Now, I don't believe that one counts as any points, which yeah, may be fucked here. I don't know. Um, and then shoot corresponding balls and get them to stick to the first ball and try to get as many as you can down to a total of 80 points. Uh, it sounds simple enough, but you gotta remember that as the string of balls get longer, the, the magnetic strength, the fucking force, uh, it's no longer as strong as it is up here. So you kind of have to have like a little bit of a, okay, this one can't be too hard. And other times you can get all the way down to 60 and you hit it just right and they all fucking go falling. It's actually, most of these games are kind of like, okay, you play it for a few minutes and you put it down and forget about it for about 16 years. This one actually draws you back. It's like, can I fucking do it this time? I have yet to get past, I think, 60. I may have done 70 once. I can't remember. But it is one of those games. I mean, you're not going to keep going back to it over and over again. But whilst it's in your hand, I could totally see you getting lost into this for a little while. Um, the only other rule that I come up with, uh, sorry, I got to do that sometimes is if the ball goes down here, it's dead. If it shoots back in here, it goes in here, I'm considered it's still in play. And the, the rules may say that, but I didn't I didn't read them. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, and I make my own fucking rules, okay? So let's, let's play a game or two. Enough talking about the stupid thing. Um, let's see if I can't... Now, again, the spring is old. It came from 79. The spring and the magnets, they're, they're not as strong as they used to be. So we'll, we'll, we'll do the best with what we got. So let's see. Ah, uh, see? There we go. So now I have 20 points, I'm guessing, anyway. Yeah, sometimes what'll happen is the ball will actually stick over here, and it'll stay in the same point range. And I don't know if you double up your point there, like it would be 20 and 20, so it'll be a total of 40. I don't know. Um, I guess it's really up to you. But the idea is to try to string them straight down. Um, yeah, you do your best. Now that the ball is cocked over to the side, I guarantee you I'm either going to knock those over or do exactly what I just said there. I'm going to give this little thing testicles here in a second. Watch, watch. Oh, no. Ooh, this might be my day. This might be my day. All right, so we got 40 points. This is when it's going to start getting fucking sketchy. Ah, uh, see? You just can't shoot them too hard. Uh, you can't shoot them too less. It, all right. Oh, no, we're still in play. Bam, there we go, 50 points. And that's basically what you're trying to do. So let's let's play another game. Let's play another round. Let me reset the balls. Let me reset all the balls. Get it in there. Let me get your primer going. All right, there we go. We got it. Bam, 20. Bam, 30. Bam, testicles. Bam, 40. 
So technically that would be what, 80? Plus, so it's 50, I don't know, you do the math. I'm counting this twice, okay? That's how I'm gonna rule it. I would like for one game where I don't get a ball down here. I don't care what it does. Fuck you, you asshole. <laughs> See? You go too high and they all disappear on you. Ah. Well, that's it. 40 points. One more. One more and we'll call this we'll call this one done. Um, I really enjoy this one. It's not my favorite of all the Tomy games. Uh, my favorite ones are like the slot machine style ones. And when I say that, I don't mean like your traditional slot machine. Like there's a robot one where you can make different robot bodies. Pretty cool stuff. I like those kind of ones. And there's a Pac-Man one that I really like. Ah, oh, you fuck. There we go. Bam. Bam. You know what? We're going to just go willy-nilly see what happens. I'm not even going to look. All right, so we didn't get much there. So there you have it. That's um, Magna Target from the Tomy line of pocket games. Pretty cool stuff. Really cool stuff. Uh, we have a handful more of these style games. Most of them Tomy, of course. Um, but some other off-brand ones that we'll be looking at here maybe once every couple of weeks. I'll try to spread it out. But there you go. Let me know down in the comments what you think about Magna Target. Do you have this one? Do you have one of the other ones that are a variant of this? Um, if I thought ahead, maybe I would have put pictures up. I hopefully, hopefully I did anyway, but if I didn't, sorry, easy enough to look up. But uh, either way, these are just fun little nostalgia time pieces. Really, really great to have. Just real fun. And that's all I can really say. It's just fucking fun. Guys, go ahead and leave your feedback. Thumbs up, thumbs down. All feedback to the creep is positive. Thank you always so much for watching. And uh, don't forget, donate to the Alzheimer's Association using that link down below. Or you can buy a t-shirt. You buy this year's Walk to End Alzheimer's t-shirt, and all profit proceeds will go directly to the Alzheimer's Association. You can also visit my buddy over on the, uh, the Twitter, Chris of Video Game Dust Sleeves. He has a special dust sleeve designated for my walk. All proceeds go to the Alzheimer's Association. Many ways you can help. Worst case scenario, share the link. But any, any action is greatly appreciated. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, hope you're enjoying your weekend. We get some great weather this weekend, uh, at least here in New England. And um, I hope you are too. Guys, again, thank you always so much for watching. Until next time, take care. Creep it real. And bye-bye.